Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Klaus, this is my house, and we're here today once again with some more Valkyria Chronicles. We're on Chapter 6, A Desert Encounter, so without further ado, let's get started with the first episode. Thanks. We're a very diverse country. For such a small country. You know what? This is one strange place. Mm -hmm. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. Not always. They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. We all know what happened. The Darkson Calamity happened. They say the fair. Dark Hairs used some kind of dark arts to burn the city. Left nothing but ash. Can't see what kind of magic you'd use to burn up this much land, though. It's just crazy. I don't know. Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence. Look, their kind has been digging up Ragnite since forever. So who's to say they don't know some weird, darksony type way to use the stuff as a weapon? I'm just saying. Anyway, as I was saying, we are in the middle of the Badlands. And what exactly are we doing here? We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? This isn't <laughs> weird to you at all, Rosie? Right. Something is definitely up here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! These people are not putting two and two together. Well, if they know. Tanks at zero four zero, distance eight hundred. Hold on. Yes, there are foot soldiers as well, mm -hmm. and they're taking up combat positions. Yeah, if you can see them, they well, can see you. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Indeed, Largo. Indeed. Squad seven, combat formation. Alrighty. Well, it looks like we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, let's see. Jaeger and Gregor. I wonder if we killed Jaeger in the last round, if we would have seen this or not. Interesting. Actually, really quick, let's save, just in case it throws us right into the battle. Alright. What you guys got? Hmm. I didn't think you could look any gloomier. <laughs> well, you don't know him that no, well. it's you. Leave me be. No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? His Grace, Maximilian. What about it? Barius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? You don't know. He took Selvaria with him, so it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. His Grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyrer. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyrer is enough to claim all of Europa. Maybe the entire globe. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. Ah, you just want the, uh, you just want the attention, don't you? The stronger you are, the shorter that road. True. <laughs> <laughs> I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. Uh, what? I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Ah, uh, okay. I think I remember. Relax. He's not actually we'll from the Empire. Desert adventures soon enough. He's from somewhere else. I can't remember. All right, good. So it didn't throw us in there. Still going to save it again. Uh, just because we can. All right, let's jump in there. And uh, hopefully we can do a little bit better job on this map than the last one. Uh, maybe I can you think will of now a little be briefed bit on the operation. better strategy. 
Alrighty, so the enemy uh, is spread out across a wide area of the desert. You'll move uh, from the south and take them out. Alrighty. Along the way, you'll find the standing remains of ruins, which should make for good cover from enemy fire. Your objective is to claim the enemy base camp. There's a lot of distance to cover out there. I'd recommend adding a long-range sniper unit or two. Uh, when you're ready to advance, though, their limited AP might mean they fall behind. In such a case, move them to the nearest camp after clearing an area of enemies and have them retreat. Uh, after uh, Then, after your, your advance units occupy the next enemy camp, you can redeploy them there. That'll speed them along. Swapping and leapfrogging units via your camp should be a big help out there. You do well to remember it. All right, well, we'll do well to try and do the best that we can. I kind of wish that we could see the map just a little bit better, um, and I could kind of figure out where I want to actually place my units. Uh, it just seems a little weird. I'm not going to lie. Um, so maybe that's where we should put the snipers. Up there. Uh, what I'm thinking is that if we can find one that doesn't mind a sniper. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and throw you up there. And maybe Alicia as well. Maybe what we do is we just go ahead. We'll take Jan and we'll throw her there. And then we can grab Rosie. Put Rosie up on point. Take uh, Alicia. We can throw her in the back. We want to get Largo uh, because he's got the CPs. We might as well put him up in the front as well. Uh, and then I think we'll kind of just try and fill it out with our... Uh, our lucky scouts and then always at this point uh, because I think we're gonna have to deal with it um, we should have an engineer just in case uh, and that should be good for us let's go ahead and deploy yep I'm ready all right we're set to begin yeah good luck I am gonna need it I'm a little bit worried about those people on the elevated position out there but it is what it the is the enemy spread out through the desert region Squad 7, move out! Okay, welcome. Sounds great. Yoki Dogles. Cutscene? This place yeah. is really something else. I've never seen rocks with holes like these. Folio was saying those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground, too. Must have really been some explosion. Yeah, you don't want to know. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah. But those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. Especially for you, Rosie. You're going to be carrying the team here. On an open here. field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out. All right, so 10 CP. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, so it looks like they have some snipers of their own. That's a lot of trenches. Let's see. So this scout here is some CP for him. That shock trooper. So we got some... One crouching sniper, one standing sniper. Uh, there we go. Got some more CP over there. Some lancers. Shock troopers, scouts, shock troopers. Okay, let's get a good lay of the land here. This scout is probably going to be the primary target, and we're going to use Cesare you say so. to uh, get a little bit better lay of the land than what we have here. All right, actually, all in all, that's not that bad. This is not exactly the map that I am thinking about. We want the scout... Maybe I should have put Rosie up here, jeez. I don't know if I want to bet on that, because really close over here, we're, we're not even locked on them. Such a small spot. Easy mark. There we go. See what you get? 
Who are these guys? All right, so that's not that bad. I probably should have Everyone not put the Lancer up here. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Imperial's Where is there in. another sniper? I'm not sure that there is. Just go ahead and we'll move. We're clear to advance. Says are we out over here? Enemy sighted. Lancer, yep. please keep track right. of your ammo. I think that one right there is one that we can get next turn. So let's just pull him back in like that. And we'll end the turn. Uh, so this is actually good to know. I probably should have thought a little bit more about uh, who I put up here. Like, Jan is not uh, the the unit that needs to be up there at all whatsoever. Um, so that sniper is the one that was crouching. Okay, so pluses and minuses to all of this. I'm going to try and focus as much as we can on the pluses. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what it is. What we could do is we could take Rosie, maybe, uh, take out that scout, and then bring her along the trench to take out this scout. Let's There's go ahead and do order. that. And we just want to hit him. So long. Fudge nuggets. Yeah, all right. So that was a miss. Kind of a wasted turn. Kind of. Not totally. Let's uh, do this thing. But it is what it is. Alright. Can't even get a head shot on him. Don't let the heat get to you. Alright. Man down, everybody be careful. Not too bad. I'm a little bit worried about this one. But uh, we should be okay. Let's do this thing. Let's use Alicia one more not Alicia, Rosie. Foot soldiers, move right. out! So that one scout, yeah, should be pretty visible I'm here on. in a second. New target sighted. Ain't no stopping me. Nice. Well, I tried to hit the aim, so we'll see if she does good. And this is kind of the way that we need to go about it because we can probably take out that sniper and this guy. Here I come. Did I get him too? Please Did I get both of them? Man down, everybody be careful. No. No, I didn't. Alright. Bring me ammo. I need bullets. But that's here. okay. Alright. We probably don't have a whole lot left to do with her. Ah, uh, we were so close, so close. Alright, so we got that guy. Uh we might as well take Rosie against one one more time. I mean why not? And then we can take out some Lancers while we're at it. That Lancer has 12 to kill. And that would be damaging their CP. Really should just go for the Lancers. The other stuff is just Man kind of icing on the cake. As long as we can protect Welkin, I'm okay. I'll feel alright about it. Uh, Lancer, Shock Trooper. Just more Lancers. All right, let's, let's take her one thing. more time. That's just a shock trooper. All right, so good to know there's some mines over there as well. You're doing well. Just keep it up. All right. 
So for the sniper stuff, kind of is what it is. Let's take Alicia and Ika as well. And we might be able to actually get pretty close to that base over there. And we should actually be able to take out that sniper as well to kind of alleviate some of the stress that's going to be on our other units. Please maintain formation. In retrospect, we also probably could have moved a little bit better. Uh, lines, return yeah, I'm not going to get around it. Ha! Ah, good. Thank God. I thought we were going to miss that. Man down. Everybody be careful. All right. Well, that's good to know that that's about as far as we're going to be able to get. What? What is she seeing? Ah, oh, the tank. Okay. Uh, probably could get it on the first turn. It might not be worth it. We'll definitely get it on the second. Uh, and we have everything else covered pretty damn well. Thinking, moving... Man, I don't know. This was a mistake. We should have put Rosie there or something like that and then just brought her down around. I don't know. Or a scout. A scout probably would have been better. Uh, do we save two or do we just keep on going? I mean, it's kind of like, why, why just take the one? My turn, okay? Yeah, let's grab her. Pull her up. Target locked. Infantry, move out. Yeah, that's a little bit far. On the hood of this thing. Please hit. Okay. And I think that should be pretty good. Let's see. I'm worried. I am a little bit worried. Let's go ahead and we'll My take Alicia okay. for this one. And we'll just take that base. Keep an eye on the uneven ground as you walk. And this should actually Enemy kill this guy. Now. Just take that grenade in your lap, man. Hmm. All right. Cool. Who are these guys? So, we kind of have an idea of what is going to happen here. Divert the enemy's attention. A lot of tanks on this side. Definitely a lot, uh, a lot to think about. I'm gonna bake out here before they can shoot me. Oh. Oh man. I thought I could get more than I could. All right, let's just see what's gonna happen. Damn it. That was pretty lousy. All right, so they only have eight. That's not too bad. Requesting reinforcements. All right, I'm gonna pull up your tank. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if that was for Ika or for Alicia. All right, we got lucky. We definitely got lucky. All right, so we got our 10 CP. What we're going to end up doing here, guys, is we are going to take a little bit of a break. And when you come back next time, hopefully we're going to be able to wrap up this battle. We got super, super lucky. <sighs> I, we're we're going to be fine, but but we just need to keep getting lucky. If there was anything about this episode that you liked, please let me know down below in that comment section. Otherwise, have a great day, great night, whatever it is to you, and I will see you back here next time for some more Valkyria Chronicles.